in November of 2011, I had the opportunity to travel to Poland to visit the Auschwitz-Birkenau concentration camps, which of course became known as the extermination camps or the death camps. Uh, I traveled with two couples, a pastor from Germany, a pastor of one of the largest uh, and most pro-Israel uh, evangelical churches in Germany, and from Siegen, Germany, and from a dear, with a dear friend uh, who's a pastor in the United States uh, from San Diego. Uh, those two pastors and their wives uh, came with me, or I came with them, and we had the opportunity to to tour this horrific facility and get a sense of just just what happens when, when the world turns against the Jewish people. What follows are pictures that I took while I was here. Various pictures of the barracks, of the cells, of the crematoriums and the gas chambers themselves. standing here at the Auschwitz-Birkenau uh, uh, death camps, concentration camps, in just outside of Krakow, Poland. And of course this is where the trains would bring uh, prisoners, mostly Jewish, but also Poles and uh, Gypsies and political prisoners from all over, Soviets. And uh, just to be here is to remember uh, what happens when, when evil rises and men take uh, no action, or certainly not decisive action to stop it. And it's just, uh, it's just stunning. This this facility, all told, uh, more than 1.3 million people came here, and 1.1 million uh, people were killed. Most of them being Jewish. So uh, it makes me think that to misunderstand the nature and threat of evil is to risk being blindsided by it.